coordinated access is a way for communities to design, streamline, and bring consistency in supporting local individuals and families that are experiencing a housing crisis and or homelessness. A strong, coordinated access system uses a housing-first approach, along with the standardized and coordinated process for access to available services, assessment of housing and support needs, prioritization, as well as matching and referral to dedicated rehousing programs and other services in a local area. A coordinated access system is a process dedicated to preventing and ending chronic homelessness. A way of service planning and connecting people to resources based on a supportive workflow. A change. Instead of operating in silos, agencies work together to improve the service for individuals or families seeking assistance, reach common outcomes, using common tools, and a central database. Within a coordinated access system, individuals and families who are experiencing or at risk of homelessness are directed to access points to service supported through triage and assessment to access the right resources in a community through system navigation, service planning and referrals, and supported to access specific housing resources that are coordinated centrally when needed. There are four distinct steps in a coordinated access system. Access. Access is the first point of contact with a trained worker. Triage. The triaging process helps to ensure safety and also to prevent homelessness as well as connecting with other services, including informal and natural supports to avoid a shelter stay. Assessment Assessment is the process by which a worker gathers more information about housing-related strengths, needs, and preferences. Often, a pre-screened survey called the vi spadat begins the assessment process to identify the housing and support needs of individuals and families. Next steps focus on referrals to community resources and a housing plan. Prioritization The vast majority of households that experience homelessness will not require intensive case management supports to return to housing. Prioritization ensures that individuals and families that require specialized supports are prioritized for rehousing programs that are centrally managed based on desired community outcomes. These resources may include housing-based case management delivered by funded rehousing partners, housing location assistance, housing stock, or subsidies. Vacancy matching and referrals. Vacancies and rehousing programs trigger referrals from the community priority list to programs or services that can provide dedicated housing-based supports. Access points to the coordinated access system include shelters, outreach teams, housing help centers, indigenous organizations, and 211, along with other agencies which use the Homeless Individuals and Families Information Systems, otherwise known as HIFIS, to track and share client information within our coordinated access system. Together, we can and will end chronic homelessness in Simcoe County. A coordinated access system will help us get there.